Warning, Zero Style is known to cause gas or gear acquisition syndrome. Prolonged exposure to me and my vlog may cause you to buy knives, flashlights, pouches, patches, pocket trash, and other EDC junk you may or may not need. You've been warned. Well, blow me down! Welcome to Zero Style! I'm your host for this episode, Space Pirate Captain XO! I hope you're ready to check out some sweet Futurama-style stuff today! That is hard to say! I'm back for this week's Pouch Dump episode, filling in for Zero because he's too busy with work! Oh, long weekend, yeah, uh-huh, sure, busy with work, yeah, we all believe that. Anyhow, before we get started, I've got a little gift for yins. Everybody gets 15% off at datacrewla.com when you use the discount code 015, X-E-R-O-1-5. Gets you 15% off one of these slider pouches, ranger eyes, pins, patches, shirts. They've got all kinds of junk at datacrew.la. Get yourself some sweet EDC gear from my friends Carlos and Milk with a discount on me. And if you're interested in this exact pouch and ranger eyes with a bunch of other free stuff, stay tuned to the end of the video to find out about the giveaway that Zero will be doing whether he wants to or not. <laughs> I'm back this week with a rad carry from my dudes over at the Data Crew. This be the slider pouch in OD green. And check out that awesome neon green Peak Reaper accent. This week's carry is Futurama themed. Yar, Space Captain XO is a nerd just like Zero. Check out the sweet Ranger Eye assortment I've got for yins this week. Ha <laughs> From Data Crew, we've got the brand new Nibbler and Futurama Planet Express logos. From Velcro Mafia, hey, yo, we got Tony Mousepad over here. We got some of that sweet Stay Away face tattoo logo too, yeah? You hear about this? This is a collab from over there in Lousy Values and Neck Breaking, eh? Anyhow, whatever that was about. Right here in the middle, we've got the Slurm Can, because everybody loves that addictive, delicious stuff, as well as a Jarhead version of Jason Voorhees, vo both from Digital Decay 702. And finally, Rick and Morty as Jarheads, but Tough and Stuff gear. Yes, very cool Futurama-themed patches for yens this week. I hope you enjoyed this nerdy setup. But as you know, the slider pouch has RE's on the inside as well, too. So let's take a look at what I've got on the inside. All from Damn Designs. We've got their logo from the Nux and the Knives, as well as their t-shirts. And two of these little cool, hilarious dudes from the Rough Patch Kids. Check out that series from them coming soon. I've got quite a few damn designs tools this week, because, you know, Space Pirate and all, so I figured why not feature them on the inside web field. But we're not starting there. That's not where this pouch begins. Oh, no. The Data Crew slider has a very sweet external pouch. It is huge. It's the whole size of the pouch. You can fit all kinds of crap in here, but I've only got one thing in mind. I don't know if I've ever seen Zero feature this on his channel, so I thought I would. This is from Malune Mob EDC. This is the mini Phantasm bottle opener, bottle breacher, security tool. You, It's not super sharp, but you could cut a box with this. You could open it, use it as a pry bar. It's definitely a very effective little tool. He's got that coupled up with a little strange lanyard. I'm not sure what you call this. I think he just was making this up as he went along. And a little bead available on Amazon. But I just thought that this was a cool little bottle breacher that I've never seen him feature. And it fit perfectly right here on the outer pocket of the slider. So I shoved it in there to show you this week. All right, for what you want to see on the inside, let's get it started with knives. Pirates love knives, haha, <laughs> and as you know, this be one of my favorites. This is the Damn Designs Gin. The Gin is a full black wash titanium frame lock knife. It's got a drop point harpoon shaped blade with a very, very deep hollow grind. This blade is incredibly sharp and incredibly slicey. It is a front flipper. You, you can thumb flick this knife. You can use the inner part of your finger for this knife. You can do stupid spidey drops with this knife. You can use the hole here in the middle to do finger flicks, thumb flicks, whatever it is that you want. This knife opens a million different ways, and I really love it. <laughs> 
I've got it coupled up with a Plague and Justin Coke collab 3D printed Sacred Terror Skull. This thing glows blue in the dark. <laughs> it's a great little wayfinder for this knife when you're in the dark spot. Check out the sweet pivot cover on this knife. I really think that's awesome looking. And the black wash titanium has been tumbled as well for that super haggard aesthetic that I love. This knife just has the best ergos. Your finger just knows right where to go when you pull this thing out. Fits in your hand perfectly. As I said, there's a million ways to open it. Jimping here on the back shows you where to stop before you hit your thumb on that little harpoon. Don't want to get yourself cut up on that. You can see that's S35 VN steel this blade's made out of, and it's just an awesome little knife. The damn design's gin in full black wash titanium. You'll notice these pockets here, they're very stretchy. So you really can pull it out and stretch it and get some different shaped tools to fit right in this front pouch. We're not done with knives yet. This is pirate life here. And from Pete's Pirate Life and Big Eye Design, we've got the TPT, Pete's Pirate Tool edition of their multi-tool with a damn design's grog bead, the poison barrel. So this little multi-tool is just a very thin little modernized box cutter. You tell right here, if you push down, these two pieces of titanium separate. You slide the knife out and lock it into whatever position that you'd like, and you're ready to cut. We've got this with a really sweet, lasered Pete's Pirate Life blade. It was the whole reason I bought this knife, let's be honest. I am a sucker for pirate aesthetic. So here we are with this sweet Pete's Pirate Life blade. Now, if you really wanted to use this as a utility knife, the idea of a utility knife is you just use this thing, beat it up, and throw it away, and replace it with a new one on another day. The back side of this is a very utilitarian little shape. This works as a pry bar, a scraper, a flathead screwdriver, and it's also got a quarter-inch bit driver. You'll also notice the Pete's Pirate Life Skull and Knives logo. There's a dedicated lanyard hole for the bead that I've already shown you. Allegedly, this thing can be used as a multi-tool wrench. Allegedly, you can stick a nut in here, but I've never tried it, so I can't tell you whether that's true or not. But it definitely works as a great bottle breacher. <laughs> I've opened quite a few bottles of grog with my mates in this. Yes, the Pete's Pirate Tool from Big Eye Design and Pete's Pirate Life here on YouTube. Link in the description below. I've got that slid right here on the front. Behind all that, we've got a flashy. This is my Raylite Pineapple Mini in solid copper. Notice how deep the deep carry clip on this tail switch mechanism flashlight is. It goes up to about 120 lumens. Plenty bright for looking under the couch or trying to find some lost treasure underneath your seat. I forced the patina on this with a little liver of sulfur bath. Look at that. The low lows are so dark. I love that aged, haggard patina, making it look like it's been lost at sea for a hundred years down in Davy Jones's locker. The flashlight, the Raylite Pineapple Mini, <laughs> tucked here in the back of the pouch. Also in the back here, I've got a pen. You never know when you need a pen, so it's good to have one in your pouch. From Big Eye Design as well, this is the mini EDC pen in brass. You can very easily deploy this single-handedly, sign a receipt, and throw it right back in your pouch. It doesn't take up much space. It uses the same refills as the Fisher Space pens, so you can just get one of these wherever you need on Amazon. It's got a little bead on the back to help you deploy it out of your pouch. I've also seen people throw it here in the pen loop that says Made in the USA. If that's your deal, you can do that if you like, but I prefer to tuck it here in the back so it's out of the way. All right, over here on the other side, let's take a look at some pocket trash, shall we? This is a very special death cookie. This is the double stuffed golden death cookie. This is awarded by Aaron only to his friends and members of the community that really make a difference. And somehow that loser Zero was able to get one from him. I don't know how, but I thought I'd show it to Yins. He's got it paired up with an Ultum Sacred Terror Skull from Coke and Plague once again. He really likes these skull bees. 
these. I think they're pretty cool myself. But this, this is a PVC plastic malleable worry stone. These things are just stress balls, anxiety tools that you can use in those tough situations when you really gotta batten down the hatches and steam full sail ahead into anxiety. A worry stone is just what you need to help fight that anxiety. And these, these are so cool. Looking like a famous cookie that is absolutely not being copyright infringed against. Not one bit. No! Tuck that boy right here into the front part of the pouch, and you're good to go, mateys. Now, on the back side, let's talk about pocket trash once again. From Damn Designs, this is the Tombstone in brass with the aged finish. First and foremost, this is a bottle opener. Pop open a cold one with that. It's also a clicker. You kind of have a magnetic front door here that allows you to just take this on and off and annoy the shit out of all of the mateys that you got around you. Finally, you can top the front off, spin it around like a fidget toy, or use it as a single finger knuck and crush somebody right in the noggin. These are fun little worry stones. I certainly, definitely love anything that you can stick your finger through and spin around. I think that these are fun. The weight on this really gives it some heft and can do all kinds of damage if you need to. It would work if you were in an emergency situation of all types. Like breaking open a bottle, breaking open a window, smashing your way out of a car, or just really removing some anxiety by clicking away. Absolutely not a brass knuckle. No way, no how, that this car possibly could be considered one of those. No way. No, absolutely not. Anyhow, Zero's got that coupled up with an actual metal curator bead from JRW Gear. This is the heavy metal logo in aged brass. On their own, these work as fantastic worry stones. Just rub your fingers across these pyramids that have been precision machined out of metal and let your worries slide away. The Dam Designs Tombstone and JRW Gear Curator Bead Pocket Trash Combo. Also got that back in the back pocket here. Next to the Big Eye Design EDC Wrench. This is another awesome little multi-tool. This is an adjustable wrench that hit, fits a whole different gambit of adjustable wrench sizes, down from the tiniest little nut all the way up to a full-size bad dude can be handled by this guy. It also works, once again, as an amazing little fidget toy. There's a spot here on the back for a lanyard bead, but it works great for popping bottles on its own. I really wish they would have flattened this out and made it into a pry bar that would have given this thing one more use. But you can definitely hold it like this and use it as a self-defense tool or a uh, glass breaker as well. Definitely doable with this guy. S-A-E, all the way from three quarters down to a quarter of an inch. That is a lot of different size wrenches, all in one little adjustable wrench here. And it fits in your pocket or in your pouch. It's got a pretty nice pocket clip on the back, too, to keep it secure in your pocket if you need it to. I just used it to take the license plates off the back of my spaceship because they passed a stupid new law here in PA that you can't have license plate covers. What the hell is wrong with those politicians here in PA? I don't know. But anyhow, that's how it goes. Here in the back, the Big Eye Design EDC wrench tucked in, in the back side of this pouch. Now, people have asked me, how thick is the slider pouch? Well, if you've got it stuffed to the gills like this pirate does, it's a real thick boy. This is definitely the kind of pouch that you need to take and put into your bag. It is the perfect way to organize your gear and have it not just be willy-nilly floating around inside your bag. I am definitely a sub-poucher, if you can't tell, and I love a bag and a bag and a bag and a bag. And finally, a hank. You can't be traveling through interstellar space without a handkerchief on you. This is from my friends over at Damn Hanks. This is the totally radical 1990s print Hank. It's got microfiber with nice embroidery on the back. This is great for screens and phones and blowing your nose. 
You never know when you're going to need to wipe the sweat off your brow, the food off your beard, or just the lens of your camera. Always carry a hank with you. Sometimes carry two if you got little kids like Zero. These things are so utilitarian and probably getting more use than anything else out of Zero's carry. Hanks, get them in your pockets. <laughs> Another Pouch Dump episode in the books. I hope yins enjoyed it. Thanks to the Data Crew for supplying me with a lot of sweet pouches and gear to pull this video off. All right, you scurvy scum. I promise yins a giveaway and I'm gonna give it to you. Do you want this Black Wolf Edition Data Crew slider pouch? Do you want all of these blackout, well, mostly blackout ranger eyes? Do you want this thing filled with pocket trash, junk, key crap, and all kinds of other EDC things from the Data Crew and other makers? I'm gonna give it away to one of Zero's subscribers. So step one, be subscribed to Zero Style. Step two, comment down below what it is that makes you a subscriber to this channel. Do you like ranger eye patches? Do you like pocket trash? Do you like knives and EDC gear? Do you like the hilarious characters that Zero does? Or just some combination of all of the above? I don't care. It's you and your decision about why you're here, but I want to hear it. Tell me, mateys, why are you subscribed to Zero Style? That's it. That's all it takes. I'm going to wait a month, and then out of all the comments, I'm going to pick a winner. you got to join Zero's Discord to actually chat with him and find out your shipping information and all that kind of junk, so make sure you're on his chat server. Chat.zero.style is the URL to join his Discord server. Just go to the rules channel and agree. Obviously, don't be a jerk, because that is the number one first and last rule of Zone Zero. So yeah, join up. Comment down below and you potentially could win this very Data Crew slider pouch. Yahar! I'm editing this video a couple days later, and Everyday Minimalist, my friend here on YouTube, is doing a giveaway for the camo one. So go over to his channel for another chance to win a Data Crew slider if you're interested. Great minds or blank minds think alike, right? <laughs> so anyhow, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a like. It's the free social currency here on YouTube. If you want to subscribe to Zero Style, click my face down here at the bottom, not Zero's. If you want to see more of his videos, click these boxes appearing around my face as I do this outro. If no one has told you today, matey, you are a rad person. You are awesome and cool and deserve love and praise just like every other human being on this worthless, decaying rock out here in space. So get out there today and do something fun, do something nice, and have yourself a good one. I'll see you whenever I see you. I'm off to another planet. I'm out of here. Later on. Ha <laughs> ha!